When lines intersect, angles are formed. Pairs of angles are given special names. Knowing the vocabulary is important. When two lines intersect, they form two pairs of opposite angles. Angle 1 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 4. Opposite angles can also be called vertical angles. Vertical angles are always congruent, which means that they are equal in number of degrees. Parallel lines are two lines that do not meet. They are always the same distance apart. Parallel lines are written AB is parallel to CD. If there are two parallel lines and a third line crosses them, the crossing line is called a transversal. A transversal creates eight angles. Pairs of these angles have special names. Corresponding angles are pairs of angles that occupy corresponding positions. Angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles because they are above the parallel and on the same side of the transversal. Angles 2 and 6 are also corresponding angles. Angles 3 and 7 are corresponding angles because they are both on the same side of the transversal but below the parallel lines. Angles 4 and 8 are also corresponding angles. Notice that there are four pair of corresponding angles. Alternate interior angles are pairs of angles that are between the parallel lines and on alternate sides of the transversal. Angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. Angles 4 and 5 are another pair of alternate interior angles. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are pairs of angles that are between the parallels and on the same side of the transversal. Angle 4 and angle 6 are examples of this pairing. Angles 3 and 5 are another pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. 